So we've got nine NIS machines, four AIS. Uh, we run all types of containers. We're a very complex industry. We do anywhere between 10 to 14 job changes a week. We run quads, we run triples, we run double gobs, we run 62 process, wide mouth, triple gob. So we do the range, the full range on um, the NIS machine. The beauty of the NIS machine is the, the concept of modulars. So if I need to repair a section or half a section, I can do that. So there's no linkages, there's nothing to worry about underneath um, the moving parts as it was with the prehistoric machines. It's a lot easier to change the variable equipment and again it's a lot quicker. So it's a lot quicker to get the machine back up and running from, from no glass to glass again. But as you can see out there right now, they are the best glass manufacturing machine in the world in my opinion. And I've said that very openly and you know when I travel with the Glass Academy, working on the NIS machines you see nothing but praise. There is no readjustment necessary during a normal uh, production. We, we make the job change, we set all the, the parameters, and then the machine is running. And the machine operator, they, has, they have very little to do on readjustment of the mechanism. movement of the mechanism, they are during the day, during the night the same. It doesn't matter if the outside temperature is, um, let's say, minus 20 degrees or plus 30. The movements of the mechanism is uh, always constant. It's a machine that is a compact machine, more or less in the space of a, a 10 section AIS machine. We can produce in a quadrupogol NIS machine. For NIS machines, we need more and more everything that would help the operators. 
We, when we talk about the NIS machines in our situation, Quadglobe, we are also talking about mm -hmm. many bottles per minute. So the operator have to be very flexible. For me, the NIS machine is better because it's a lot quieter, it's a lot easier to keep clean and we're able to control the movements of the variable equipment a lot better, therefore it's easier to form the bottle to the best quality. Doing a job change is something you desire. It's, it's easy to do job changes on those machines. It's easy to design equipment for them. It, it takes a lot less variables. The NIS, if, if they're similar bottles, it would be, I would say, probably about 25 minutes or so faster than, than a normal job change would be for us. So a lot of the servos have a, a lot smoother operation. The set points, the end points are exactly the same every time. So whenever you make a set point change, it goes back to that set point every time. In the setup of the NIS, it's a lot easier uh, than your standard IS machine. With the servos, they're more precise and setup is a lot easier. The NIS uh, sets up uh, a lot faster and everything's even when you set it up, so you don't have to go in and re-time things. Gallo has a commitment in investing into the future and we wanted to understand how we could be a part of that future. And with that, we saw that this servo technology offered the potential for closing the loop. And with that, we went out into the world, talked to a bunch of different customers, some of which were from MHART, and they really sang the praises of the NIS. And the basic question we asked them was, would you purchase more? And resoundingly, everyone answered that they would certainly invest in NIS in the future.